breaking news. Secret Service agent just said IT. This is huge. If you've been paying attention to the news and monitoring the joke of the century known as the leftists seeking for collusion or any of the other made-up accusations, then keep on looking. It's about to explode into the most significant thing you've seen for ages. Be prepared to blow the hinges off a liberal and watch the Democrats go on a warpath when they realize that their Russian collusion gimmick blows back in their face like standing in front of a jet engine. It's going to be hotter than a volcano when the truth comes out about their anti-Trump investigations that come up less than a nothing burger on our side. Not only will we see the truth about Trump, but we will see who the long, creepy, Grinch-like fingers point to and it won't be pretty. The real culprits will reap what they sow in a garden of sadness and regret. They'll wither away like grass in the winter or the, will turn sights and join the real force on the right. The leftists are eating themselves alive with double standards. It's almost sad to watch the left. They remind me of the gimmicky hoaxes of a rejected magician trying out for a traveling carnival sideshow, and they didn't even bring popcorn or pizza to the party. They don't realize it, but they're getting out of control and not making much sense, but that's fine. Let them do their thing with feelings, double standards, and illogical ways while we do ours, the factual, right, and American way. We have people like Dan Bongino, the former Secret Service agent who openly provides information and analysis on what's going on with the nonsense stemming from the left. We need to be firm open-minded and take in real information that's provided to us. We need to analyze facts and data while leaving the feelings out of it. Facts don't care about feelings. Gateway Pundit reported. Dan Bongino, a former Secret Service agent and current Fox News contributor, stated via Twitter that if George W. Bush had been in office when a bogus counterintelligence investigation was opened up on the Obama campaign team, the media and liberals, would be demanding perp walks. But, because it's Trump, police state tactics are celebrated. This is total BS. This is just another example of the Democrats having a free microphone courtesy of the liberal media. Bongino said something very similar during his appearance on Outnumbered Thursday morning. Bongino said, it's the most explosive scandal. It's getting ready to burst. Bongino has no problem putting his face out there and calling it what it is. He's blowing things up like a rocket launcher as he tears through the bogus nonsense that he elaborates on while going public with his info. Bongino was in the Secret Service, so he's not playing around. He knows what's at stake if he's full of it. He's throwing himself on the line and declaring what he says is true. Let's take that for epic face value and see if what he's talking about comes to fruition. I have a grand feeling that it will. This isn't the first time the former Secret Service agent spoke out about the investigations and obvious nonsense that's nothing more than a distraction to progress. He called out Robert Mueller and Peter Strzok too. He called them out and had no problem doing so. This happened when he spoke with Sean Hannity. Fox News Insider Reports Retired Secret Service agent Dan Bong Eno said special counsel Robert Mueller appointed obvious ideologues to the Trump-Russia probe. Sean Hannity asked Bong Eno about recent revelations surrounding FBI agent Peter Strzok and DOJ official Bruce Orr. Strzok was found to have sent anti-Trump, pro-Clinton messages and or allegedly met with people involved in the Trump dossier. He said there are two possible explanations for what he called a sham investigation. If someone hired attorneys from the Clinton Foundation to investigate anything from the White House, then that's a conflict of interest and it won't ever be truthful. Any investigations would need to be neutral and not afraid to provide the real results. We know that truth may not ever come to light if there's an investigation by a non-neutral source. Will we ever get the answers? Or do we already know that people are wasting their time looking for something that isn't there? That's all fine. Trump is busy making America great while others waste time. Who's doing a better job, better job?